In this video, we'll use a component called as J radio button. So what exactly J radio button is? It's a option button in which you can you can choose only one out of multiple options. It's something like when you uh, fill up an online form and they will ask you for uh, your gender, maybe male or female. So you will select one of them, right? So let's create a, a Java file in which we'll ask a user. So we'll say user input. We'll ask a user to enter his name and his gender. Let's say if uh, if a name is let's say Rahul, so gender is male. If your name is Sangeeta or Sheetal, the name will be uh, the, the gender will be female, right? So depend upon his gender, will grade will grade th that person. So if your gender is female, so will grade as Miss Sangeeta or Miss Miss something. If your name is uh, Rahul, so we'll say Mr. Rahul, right? So that's that's the code we want to do here. So we'll say let's create a file. And let me remove all these extra comments. So first thing we need here is a class. So we'll say the class name as uh, radio demo. In this class, I need a constructor. So we'll say it is radio demo again. Now, what are the components I need? First, I need a text field where the user will enter his name. So we'll say text field, we'll say T1. Next, we need some uh, button so that we'll create an event. So we'll say button B. Then we need a radio button. So we'll say J radio button. We need two buttons, one for male, second for female. So we'll say it is uh, R1. And R2, R for me, R1 for male and R2 for female. And yeah, that's it. Then we'll uh, need something more. Yeah, I need a label to show the output. So we'll say J label, we'll say L. So let's create all these objects. So we'll say J, uh, so we'll say T1 equal to J text field. And the size of this text field should be 15. Then we require a button, so we'll say B equal to new. Uh oh, I missed new here. So next is new J button. And we'll say the text of J button will be OK. okay. Now what next we need is radio button, so we'll say R1 equal to new J radio button. Uh, we'll, we'll give a caption. And the caption here will be male and R2 will be new J radio button. It will be uh -oh. it should be female. Okay. And we require a label, so we'll say L equal to new uh, J label. And we'll say this is as by default it will be greeting. Okay, and we'll replace that greeting with uh, the name with the salutation. Now let's add all these components. So we'll say add first we'll add T1, T2 will add T1, and then we'll add a button. Again, you we'll, we will get errors because we are missing something. We need to say extends. J frame. Okay. Next, we'll say add. We'll say add R one, and we'll say add R two. Then we'll add a label. So this sequence matters because depend upon the sequence, it will uh, you you can see those components on your J frame. And we need some boiler, we need that uh, code which is swing code and we'll say tab, you get all this, let's pack, import the package of flow layout, and that's it. Now we need to add a listener to button. So we'll say b dot add action, action listener. And we'll, this time we'll use anonymous object, which is, uh, this is what I love. So we'll say new action listener. And you get this code. Let me remove this extra coding. And I will even remove this throws. 
So as you can see, we have some lines here. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to write the logic here now. So let's write the logic. Logic is first thing is I need to fetch the name of the. Achha, before that, let's run this code to see what exactly we are able to see now. And we need to call this first. So we'll say PSVM. And we'll we'll call this uh, radio demo. We'll say R equal to new radio demo. Uh, we need to specify semicolon and we'll say that's it. And let's run let's run this. If you run this code, okay. So we can see a text field here. Let me just uh, reduce this. Uh, this is better. So let's say let me write a name as Navin. If I click on male female so if I can click on male and if I click on ok it should say uh, Mr. Navin if I type a different name like let's say if I write uh, uh, a Sheetal here and if I click on female if I click on ok it should give uh, Miss Sheetal but hold on radio button property is you should be able to click only one right if I click on male it should be male if I click on female it should be only female the male should get automatically deselected how to do that? By default, radio button says we will we will not do that. To make it work, to make the actual use of radio button, we need to create one more object of called something called as button group. So we'll say button group equal to B, bg equal to new button group, and we'll say bg dot add. We need to add r1. So this is a logical group. You cannot say button group. It's a logical component. We'll say r2. Now, say both these objects or R1 and R2 belongs to same button group. Now we can see some, uh, we can see that effect of uh, video button. So if I click on male, this male, if I click on female, it gets unselected. Simple. Now let's uh, write the logic. So logic will be if I say, and one more thing, instead of adding button here, let me add button after the video button. So we'll say add B here. Okay, the first thing is we'll take a string, we'll say name equal to. Now you will get this name from text field, so we'll say t1 dot get text. And we need to check which radio button has been selected. So if I say if, now how to check which radio button is selected, we'll say r1 dot. So there's a method called as is selected. So there's a method called as is selected. And is selected method, method will return you a boolean value. So now you need to check for true and false. If this is the case, we'll create a string or we'll append this name with a salutation which is Mr. plus name. Simple and else condition in this will say name equal to it will be miss dot plus name. Clear? And then we'll assign that text on label. So we'll say L dot set text and we'll say name. Clear? So how to check the button is clicked or the selected? It is with the help of is selected method. And if I run this code now, let me type a name. We'll say Navin. If I say male, okay, it is Mr. Navin. And if I say the different name as, let's say, Sheetal. If I say female, click Miss Sheetal. If I use a different name, let's say, again, a boy named Rahul. And if I say male, okay, okay, this is Mr. Rahul. Clear? So this is how you, have, you need to use radio button. So that's from this video. And for the next video, please do subscribe.